Hi everyone, welcome. It's Angie from Angie's Guide 2 and welcome to today's training. I hope you're so ex super excited like I am. Today I'm going to be talking and discussing goal setting, okay? So first off, what is a goal? A goal is something that you have a burning desire to have or achieve, okay? Right, so it's just anything that you can think anything you think of, um, anything that you, you burn and have a burning desire. And when I say burning desire, a burning desire is what you real, it's like something real inside you that you just sometimes can't explain, but you just know there's something there that you really have to get whatever you, you want to get. Also, it's something that you think about constantly, um, you sleep and you dream about it, you're awake and you're thinking about it, you daydream about it. It is something, a burning desire. So a goal is something that you really, really want or need to do, okay? So I just had um, some fabulous training by the one and only Bob Proctor and he was talking about goals and I thought let me share some of those teachings with you as well um, because I got massive value out of that training course and I know you will get great value as well so this is only a real snippet because I took some fabulous notes around goals and I really wanted to share um, what he was talking about around goals. So he was saying that there are three types of goals, okay? The first type of goal, um, type A, is a goal that is not really a goal. Um, it's something that you can actually do already. You know how to do it. For example, if you are looking for a job, okay, that shouldn't really be on your goals list of getting a, um, getting a job. Okay, it's more like a task activity. So you know how to get a job. Everybody knows how to get a job. Um, there's blueprints and there's so many, there's so much information out there of how to get a job. You know you need to write out your CV, resume, send it to the company that you're applying to, attend the interview, you know, ask a few questions, answer their questions, be polite, courteous, and then you will get um the job okay so you know getting the job should not really be your um like a goal i know most of you on here um because i do transitioning from employee to entrepreneurship so you know most people's goals on this call won't be getting a job but one of your goals should be firing your boss and becoming a successful entrepreneur okay that should be one of your goals um, but even that, becoming a successful entrepreneur's, entrepreneur isn't necessarily really a goal because there's a blueprint out there to show you how to become an entrepreneur, okay? Becoming an entrepreneur in a specific sector, achieving a, a specific rank or clients or monetary, those are more of targets and goals okay the second type of goal um he was telling us about was um goals that are actually task-based activities so goals that oh I, I i'm gonna go to the gym you know three times that's my goal that's not really a goal you should be going to the gym three times a week that is a task is an activity that you need to do okay it's not really a goal getting up early you know reading every day which we should be doing anyway isn't really a goal is an activity that we should be doing anyway those activities push us towards our goal so that's not really a goal the third type of goal is what they say is the main goal. The goal of, I want to have a successful entrepreneurship business, regarding whatever the business, that is generating my income that I can go and fire my boss. Okay? I am a, now a six, seven, eight, nine figure earner. I help millions of people globally achieve their goals 
is a goal, okay? What you don't have to worry about when you set those type of goals is how you're going to do it, okay? I'm going to come on to that in a bit later. But a goal needs to be, well, when you set any kind of goal, first of all, you need to set big goals, okay? Because the worst thing that's going to happen if you set a big goal and you do not achieve it, you would have moved from here to here. You might not be up here, but you would have moved here and you're closer to your bigger goal than you would have been if you set a small goal. So always dream big, okay? And once you've got your dream, think bigger, okay? So if your goal is, I want to earn £10,000 a month, no. Add a few more zeros. You want to earn a million a month, you know? That's what you need to start thinking big your goals need to be big okay then once they are big you get burning desire okay you'll start thinking outside of the box you know you'll start thinking about how you achieve them the universe will provide you the opportunities of how okay i remember years back um when I started out on my entrepreneurship, um, I used to, I went to on conference and this is way, 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 way back now. And I went to, um, I think this was T. Harvecker's convention um, back in, it was in London in Ells Court back in the days. And I remember when we was doing our affirmation section is they used to, there was a section saying that, think about how much money you want to, start earning and I used to say oh, okay I want to earn five thousand pounds a month okay I'm, I thought that was such a big number I've never had five thousand pounds a month and you know in the T Harvecker if you've been to T Harvecker seminars you do your affirmations you do your tapping and you know everywhere um and they, when you come home, you have your book and, you know, you meant to do your, you do continue with all of that. So I did do that for a little while. Um, and one of the things that I got from that is I got clarity on what my goal was. So I didn't really worry about how I was going to get £5,000 a month. I just put into motion, okay, my goal at that time, I wanted to increase my income to 5,000 a month. And then opportunities came to me. And I got within about three years, and I know you think, oh, three years is a long time, but I didn't really connect all the dots until when I'm doing some reflection. It's like, okay, I actually achieved what I went out to achieve. I said I wanted, I told the universe, I wanted to have £5,000 a month and I was actually getting £6,000 a month. So I was actually getting more than I asked for. And I even went and said, okay, when I started getting that money, I said, I want to earn £10,000 a month. And lo and behold, the universe actually provided for me. So when I say start thinking big, I wasn't actually thinking big enough then. I was thinking, okay, let me see. I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't operate in, in a space of faith. I kind of believe, but I didn't 100% believe until I start doing the actions that, you know, got me there. And I was doing them slowly and I got what I wanted. So I want you to set a goal. I want you to set really big goals. I want you to think really big because the worst that's going to happen to you is that you're going to move from your current position to almost or just missing your big goal. And even if you just miss your big goal, it's still a good place. So set big goals. Now, when you set got big, when you set your goals, it needs to be a burning desire. Okay, you have to imagine it all the time. You need to visualize it. When you close your my eyes, you need to have your picture of what your goal is. You need to see that you're you're in that space already. 
you have to imagine that you are in that space already okay so it's going to take a lot of um, visualization affirmations and keep telling yourself that you are there okay so at, at the moment, um, some of you probably know, I have partnered with um, a trading um, part, um, company. So I am also a Forex trader and they have a really good platform where they teach people how to trade. And alongside that, they teach, they give you a residual income. So one of my goals is to hit Chairman 100. Okay, so that is on my goal board. I'm starting to make sure I look like a chairman, I smell like a chairman, I'm acting like a chairman, I'm putting all these things into place because when my mind believes I am at the chairman 100 level, I'm already there. Regardless if I get to chairman 100, I will be a chairman 100. So you need to set visualization. It's on my vision board already. Okay, my children are calling me chairman 100. So that's reaffirming my thoughts. Okay, and I'm just putting everything in there to become what I want to be. Okay. So, um, sorry, I just wanted to also say, when you set your goals one of the main things you need to do is to put a date on it so like i've said to you like i've said and i'm putting it to the universe now that i am happy and grateful that by and that's what you need to put by 30th of january 2022 I will be chairman 100. So that is just under two years. I'm going to achieve that goal. And that might sound a long way for you guys. But for me, there are so many different milestones I'm going to get to. I will achieve that because I want to enjoy each step I get to. I want to enjoy that. So what I just really want you to take away from this is to set your goals, make sure you put a date and time of it on it, understand why you want to have this goal, make sure you visualize your goal, make sure you understand you are already there in your goal, okay? And most importantly, have fun on the journey, okay? The end state, i.e. the goal, is going to be beautiful to have, but don't forget the journey, okay? It will take you through ups and downs, but most importantly, it will move you from here to here. You will be a different person, okay? And it will be fun. So I will have um, a little sh um, note sheet um underneath this video um please um you know click on the link it will be around the video somewhere um if you have any questions about goal setting let me know drop me a comment below dm me um i'm here to help and to serve if you found this really very valuable please do let me know i like creating content um, i want to know what other content you would like me to create for you um and then yeah just have fun i wish you all the best with your goal setting and i'll see you next time <laughs>